Hi, I'm Jason, field guide for African Impact, conservation projects based here in the Greater Kruger area. Today we're here to talk about the issue of climate change, the effects, the solutions, and what we can do to contribute. So climate change, one of the biggest effects of climate change is global warming. That's an increase of temperatures all over the world. The effects of this, obviously massive. Effects of just two to two and a half degrees Celsius increase in temperature can lead to massive destruction. 25% loss of mammal species, more than 25% loss of bird species and up to 70% of our butterfly and reptile species in the area. This is absolutely huge. The other effect is severe drought and severe flooding, both which are negative effects. The drought leads to lack of water, mass deaths within our mammal species causing the spread of diseases, whereas drought leads to the leaching of soils, nutrients causing poor soils, eroded soils, desertification. Looking at the solutions, what's happening with this? What is being done? Well, protection of natural areas where wildlife roam is absolutely essential. Now, this is done through legislative structures and environmental laws. Kruger National Park is one of the largest national parks in the world. Kruger National Park itself is surrounded by several private reserves with fences between them to protect the area they are fenced in to keep the wildlife protected, but it also demarcates borders where human residential development must stop to avoid human wildlife conflicts. Our projects in Kruger area work tirelessly with reserve owners and management to protect the species inclusive of the African lion. This involves a great deal of work protecting the land in which produces the food for the wildlife as well as the retention of water for bathing and drinking. Each species within the reserve and the ecosystem relies on one another in a delicate process called symbiosis. By removing plants, such as invasive alien species, this allows for indigenous species to take over and thrive, which in turn feeds our herbivores. These plants are also way more water efficient. The carnivores can then survive from hunting the herbivores and this life cycle continues to go naturally. Without doing this removal of invasive plant species, we can lead to severe drought conditions and uh, leaching soils and erosion once again. By protecting all the species within reserve areas, we can slow down the negative impacts of climate change and protect the species for them to survive in the future. Another major issue that we face is poaching. Poaching is the illegal hunting of wildlife on our private and government national reserves. This can be directly influenced by climate change as drought or floods impact our crops and our livestock and food becomes more and more scarce, people are then forced into the natural areas to illegally hunt food for meat. This is something that we must all stop together. Now what can we do to make a direct difference and what can we do to contribute to make a positive impact with climate change? Get involved with projects such as clearing unnatural, invasive and alien vegetation. We can be conscious of our water usage and we can of course make sure that when we can we don't use cars, trains and buses but walk or use bicycles to reduce our carbon dioxide emissions. Thank you.